Mm. Nothing but a bit of iced tea. <laughs> and uh, today we'll be taking a look at the Battle Pass P39Q25. I do apologize for yesterday's mouse video. That was really something that I'm not very proud of. But hey, it did the job. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it with a bit of hesitancy. That skin is absolutely cursed, and as such, it's relegated to the mouse. And every time I play the mouse, it'll be there for my utter disappointment. Anyway, speaking of disappointment, this is the new Battle Pass vehicle. This is a P39Q25, and you get this as a part of completing this reward season. Now, I don't actually have it. I'm only Battle Pass level 1. Is it rank 3? Battle rating 3.7. And what is there really to say here? It's a p 39 with with a French camouflage, really. We have quite a few P-39s, P-63s, and, and King Cobras, and so on and so forth in the Russian tech trees. USA has quite a number of them at lower tiers. So, this thing should be pretty fun. Um, and the P-39s are over here, 3.3 and uh, 3.0. So, regardless or not, this thing should perform pretty decently. It is a premium. It's got a 37mm cannon and some 12.7mm machine guns. Now, unlike other in-tree variants of P-39s, you can't remove the gun pods from the wings. So this one has nose-mounted and obviously wing-mounted guns. There you go. Modifications-wise, it does get access to 500-pound bombs, but you can only have one underneath. Let's just quickly take a look at what that looks like. There you go. So you can use this in a limited close air support role. 3.7, you can probably shove it in a ground lineup and it'll probably do really well. Um... There isn't really much else to say about it. Let's go out in a few matches, shall we? And uh, let's see how this thing performs. Right, first game of the day. This is actually the first match I've played in this thing, and we've spotted a couple of attackers. There's a HS129, obviously to our front. And there should be a BF110 appearing somewhere to the left. I'm currently looking for him. Uh, that's the target that I was initially diving for. There he is, to the left there. Now, initially I was going to go after these attackers. I'm just keeping my options open. Oh, maybe the HS129 looks a little bit better, more tasty. After all, a duck is certainly interesting. But unfortunately, alas, it's not to be. A couple of ITPs, a P63, an IL-2, and basically the whole entire enemy team. Yak-3, who else wants to go party? I'm just looking behind me for my friendlies. Looks like there's none to be found whatsoever. They're climbing off to the left-hand side. Just watching around me, and there's Fuckle 190, 109. Yeah, things are pretty, pretty spicy, I would gather. Now, this thing's armed with a 37. It's got two 12.7s, uh, actually, it's got four 12.7s. Uh, um, this thing in a head on or some sort of turn fight is okay. It's a little heavy, uh, but again, if you're not getting consistent hits, like that, that 37 sparked on an ITP. Again, stock crew here, so I'm just trying to figure out how to play this thing. It's been many, many years since I've had to play a heavy-nosed fighter that doesn't necessarily turn too well, but turns enough that you can actually do some decent defensive fl flying. Now, I have no idea what uh, this P63 is doing. He's obviously on my six and really wants me, but this ITP is having none of it. Friendly is coming to try and help. He's gone for another uh, go around. As you can see, he just absolutely crashes into the ground just there. And I'm just looking behind me, watching my altitude, looking at where I'm going, trying to avoid as much of their shots as possible, and unfortunately they set my wing tank on fire. That being said, just watch what happens next. Ready? Yeah, I have no clue what just happened there. <laughs> what the blaze has just happened? Good question, Ash from the future. Hmm. Cool. I know, certainly is. I don't want to elaborate on what just happened there, but um... I'm RTB. Heavily crippled and heading back to base, this thing tends to absorb a little more damage than what I'd expect out of this machine. Being in the engine that is mid-mounted and the prop shaft del delivered directly underneath the pilot's seat, uh, it's quite an interesting vehicle, right? You know, it's basic dogfighting skills apply. It's essentially an energy fighter. Only fire the cannon under optimum conditions and essentially utilize separate keys for the main weapons. Well, I didn't, so there you go. You know, it's a jack-of-all-trades kind of aircraft. Um, it's got heavy armament. It's got a good dive speed and acceleration. It's got good secondary armament. Reasonable-ish turn time and a high-end diving speed. It can dive up to 800 kilometers an hour. 
It's not bad climb rate. I will say, the thing is absolutely thirsty for fuel. And it's really... The different weapon trajectories make it difficult to aim in some cases. Granted, the 37 is nose mounted, so you should be able to hit things. When a cheeky little Yak-3 comes out of the woodwork to say hello. Premium rewards, it's got a tricycle landing gear, which is fantastic for landing. And right now I'm crippled heavily. I've got holds in my left wing, holds in my right wing, and this guy is crazy enough to go head on with me. Now I did take a little bit of damage here, but now we're heavily into the defensive flying here. He's gone up. I'm going to pull under and try and narrow my profile out. I need as much speed as I possibly can if I'm to manoeuvre. Had I pulled up after him, it would have been an absolute death threat. That being said, though, combat flaps, and away we go. I'm going to pull round and try and avoid as much damage as possible. Barely avoid the trees here, and pull back up to try and get the aircraft airworthy again. I guess that works, too. You want to crash, and, you know, I get a couple of hits on you? That's great. Honestly, I don't mind. You keep coming at me like that, you'll get me an easy five kill game, eh? Alright, seriously, this time I am landing. And I was decently surprised by the amount of damage I took up just then. A P63 and an ITP both firing at me. Again, defensive flying plays an important part in that. And, while it has great dive characteristics, this thing catches fire incredibly easy. I suppose it's a benefit when you're actually a, a qualified and trained firefighter, hey? But anyway, let's try and land this absolute little machine. Yeah. Nailed it. Exactly, Ash. You certainly did. Oh my goodness. What an incredibly bouncy runway, hey? <laughs> so it's, uh, well, I'm glad I'm up. Alright. P-47s, we're versing the Germans and the Russians. Of course, we're on a Japanese map, historically famous for, you know, Russians versus uh, the, the, the Japanese. But still, you know, Cal and Gol. Actually, is it the Chinese? I'm not entirely sure. This map's been in the game for years. You know what happens as people climb off to the left as the enemy fighters go out this direction. So... I guess we just end up by climbing just a little bit. Let's see where we go with this one. Some other factoids with the aircraft. It's got combat flaps, got takeoff flaps, landing, doesn't have air brakes, and doesn't have an arrest of gear. Max speed in RB of 590 kilometers an hour. Although don't expect to be getting up to those kind of speeds just too yet. Uh, it does have a turn time of 18 seconds, a climb rate of 20 seconds, takeoff run of 269 meters, and really, it's a inline water-cooled engine, an Allison V171085 to be exact. Now, max altitude is 9,700 meters, although I doubt you'd ever get there by the time a War Thunder match was over, or you got intercepted by a BF-109 or a Focke-Wolf-190. Now, I'm running like a chicken, uh, because, I don't know, too many red dots and this thing can be a little bit overwhelmed. It's more of a support fighter, although I'm still getting used to playing energy fighters, as you guys know. I recently took a 15 to 16 day break, and while I did prepare content, getting back into the swing of things and actually playing something like this is a little challenging, especially when you, all you've been doing is top tier jets for the last week and a half uh, in the preparation for rank 7 aviation. Regardless, the limits are on the wings, 886 kilometers an hour, the gear, 322, combat flaps, 426, takeoff, 396, landing, 241. Max G limits is plus 13 Gs, and negative is 9, so there you go. 109 is coming close. Wasn't sure what that Focke-Wolf 190 was doing, so I'm just going to play it a little bit easy. I hope that there isn't too much going around here, because otherwise it's going to be incredibly complicated. Now, I do want to get rid of that ITP, so I'm going to do what I have to do and go for a little bit of a dive. Immediately going to cut the throttle back. Uh, I don't realise this straight away, but doing 600 kilometres an hour, he can just basically turn around and there we go, drop the throttle to zero. Just glide on in, use the energy that we have. Coming at a nice decent speed, lead a couple of shots. Critical hit, come on, learn to aim. Come on, Ash, you can do it. There we go, brilliant. Now, I had an opportunity to shoot this I-85 and save that P-47. However, he's on fire, he's going to go in anyway. So yeah, rolling around, trying to take a shot at that I-85. Unfortunately, I couldn't save that P-47. 
it is what it is. You can't change the past, but you can try and change the future. And that he's particularly low, it seems that his engine had been knocked out. There is an ITP directly straight ahead, and we're going to go directly for him right away. Fuck with 190 on my 6, I'm going to keep uh, the head on. Very dangerous situation here. Had he put a hit into my engine, would have been absolutely engine failure right there. Unfortunately, the Fuck Wolf does get one of my flaps there. And, oh, I should say my elevator is really... ITP is still burning to a crisp when I looked behind me. Friendly is trying to take out that 109F4. Now, had I had my full elevator controls, I probably would have been able to take out that 109. But alas, it is what it is. And unfortunately, this is the end of the story for this P39 uh, Q5 Aero Cobra. As we get set on fire, and that about does it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash, and I'll catch you in a video shortly. Cheerio.